Hey guys, so today I want to talk about change and in particular why so many people struggle to create real change, like long-term change. They maybe do something for a couple of weeks, six, six, eight weeks potentially, and then they slip back into bad habits and this just keeps going on and on and on. So my name's Yona from customhealthcoaching.com and I think a good way to explain it is, you know, if you want a different outcome within your life, within your health, within your performance, um, or you know, any area of your life, Ultimately, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take on new habits that you've probably never done before, uh, and you're going to have to give up potentially quite a few habits that you've been doing for quite some time. And obviously, that's a really uncomfortable thing to do for a lot of people. And I suppose if you look at how this typically goes, I think uh, you know, 12 week challenge is a perfect example, but let's say you know, someone wants to improve their health, and they go, all right, I'm going to join a gym. So oh, you go, go for two weeks, but you feel really uncomfortable, you don't really know what you're doing, you know, you're, you're not really seeing any results after two weeks, and you're having this internal talk in your head going, oh, what am I even doing here? It's way more comfy in bed, or, you know, just, you're talking yourself out of it ultimately. And it's, you're feeling really uncomfortable about the situation you're in, and it, it, it just doesn't feel right. So you talk yourself out of it, and you, you end up you know, going back to the old habits you've previously done. 12 week challenge, great example. Take on great habits, get it, you know, eat really well, you know, take on a lot of exercise, take on a lot of good habits, um, maybe get a lot, a lot of injuries along the way potentially. But 12 weeks down the track, you know, you've got an awesome before and after photo, you've had great results, but what I'm more interested in is six months later, where are you at? Have you actually been able to maintain that? This is where I think it's so important to have an approach to change that is not only externally focused, you know, it's not, not just focused, this stuff is absolutely important, you know, on, on training right, on exercising right, on eating the right way, on, you know, taking on different habits around sleep, you know, relationships, etc., etc. All that stuff is the external stuff, and yeah, absolutely, it's important. But if it's not paired with internal change and really working on your inner self, and your beliefs and the way you're thinking and, and this sort of stuff and, and on a real level, if it's not if you're not creating change internally, then the external stuff just isn't gonna feel right. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna be like just trying to resist, trying to use willpower to just push yourself through, push yourself, pu- push yourself and keep on going with it. Uh, but you're just gonna get to a point where it's like, oh, I just can't do it anymore. And then you go back to how you really feel and how your internal talk and your beliefs are really encouraging you to be. Um, I'm a massive ad- advocate for obviously doing things really holistically. I think this is what results in, in real change and in real long lasting change. For some people, they can really get a lot of momentum really quickly. But for other people, they've got to do a lot of internal w- work before they actually feel ready to start showing up the right way externally and really getting physical, you know, observable, observable tangible results. Um, so a lot of people you know, that, that work with me, for example, I've, I've got one lady who's been working with me for a couple of months, she hasn't had a huge amount of external results, but internally, she's really made a lot of shifts. And I know that she's getting to a point now where she's gonna really start to show up and get a lot of external momentum and get a lot of results. And the cool thing is now, it's really coming from a, a belief system and an inner you know, place that's actually going to drive long lasting change rather than it just being another one of those things she does where she does it for six weeks, she does it for 12 weeks, and then she just goes back to how she really is. Um, so yeah, a massive article for, the, for this. Um, don't just focus on external change. Don't just focus on going to the gym, on eating right, on you know, doing all the things you've got to do to get results. Focus on how you're thinking. Focus on really shifting beliefs to look at these things and ultimately become someone who just does these things. Take on an, taking on a new way of thinking, a new identity ultimately that you can really condition into yourself around these things so that it's like, oh cool, I am this weight. I mean, it's not that I just got to this weight and I you know, lost these kilos and, and this is the result I got and this is the before and after photo I can share. It's actually, I am this person. And I, I just live and breathe these habits because this is how I am now. I am healthy, you know, I, I am this weight. I am this at this performance level, etc., etc. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, what, what areas of your life do you think you really need to work a little bit more internally on um, so that the results you get and the changes you're looking to create are actually going to be things that last for the long term? 
Um, if you're interested, I've got a free mindset module on my website. So if you just click the link in my bio, you'll see that. Um, you can download that. It's free. It's really friggin' awesome. It's the first one in a, in a five uh, part series, which is essentially focused on this, on really taking on a new identity and really being able to identify the different areas that are holding you back and, and really get huge momentum internally so that will present externally um, as results when you sort of really get it going. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, check it out. It's awesome. Um, and I'll leave you with that. Have a great day. Work internally, not just externally. It's the key to long-lasting results.